Hello guys, today I'll be reviewing the new Korn album, Requiem. And this was an album that I was really looking forward to. And Korn, one of my favorite bands of all time, also one of the first bands that I ever got into at a young age. Definitely one of those bands that do mean a lot to me, along with some other bands like Linkin Park and Three Days Grace, just to name a couple others. But yeah, I got a signed CD coming and I'm definitely looking forward to getting that. But yeah, the album had the tough task of having to follow up the nothing, which at the time of the of release, I thought the album was their best since either Take a Look in the Mirror or Untouchables. And I still think it's overall a fairly strong album. And I think, and there's many songs that still hold up for me today from that album. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this new album. The album starts off with Forgotten. And this was the second single. And I've talked about this song already on my channel. So if you want to hear me go deeper into this song, definitely check out my review for, for Forgotten after this review. But yeah, this song to me has a good mix of older corn and newer corn. I really dig the riffs leading up into the first verse. And then you have the chorus where when it comes to Jonathan Davis's vocals, his vocals in the chorus kind of remind me of, of how he sounded during the Untouchables slash Take a Look in the Mirror era, which I think is cool because I do like that time in the band. And overall, I think Forgotten is a fairly good song and a great way to open up the album. But next we move on to the next song, Let the Dark Do the Rest. And the song starts off in a fairly haunting manner, leading to some hard hitting heavy riffs. But also, the chorus probably one of my favorite choruses on the album and then you have the middle section where i think you get some of jonathan davis's best singing but yeah this is probably one of my favorites on the album and i can also see the song maybe being a fan favorite for many people too and also the heavy moments in the song just in my opinion just really kick ass definitely a highlight for me on the album again but next we have start the healing and this was the first single, and I've also talked about this song already on my channel. A more radio-leaning song that, to me, was a good choice for a single. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, the song is still getting better and better with each listen. And I think the song has a catchy and memorable chorus. Overall, a fairly solid song, I'd say. But next we have Lost in the Grandeur. And I reviewed this song in my last video, and this song might be my favorite of the singles. You have your more heavier moments and your more melodic moments, and I think there's a decent balance between those two things in the song. And also, I think Jonathan Davis' singing, such as in the chorus, really stands out to me. And yeah, um, also another, high, another highlight for me in this song is the heavy section leading up into the last chorus, from the heavy guitar to the anger and frustration that you get from Jonathan Davis' vocal performance in that part of the song. But also, then you get to the lyrics, and lyrically, to me, it sounds like it could maybe be about wanting some change in your life due to feeling like you're surrounded by pain or tough times or just not being satisfied with how life's been in America due to, of course, COVID and quarantine and all that stuff. It could maybe be about that. I'm not sure, but yeah, I could be totally wrong about the lyrics, but feel free to let me know your thoughts on lyrics in the comment section below but yeah overall lost in the grandeur definitely probably one of my favorites on the album and easily my favorite of the singles at this point but next we have the song disconnect and you can really hear how much the band has matured slash grown in this song especially when you listen to the chorus i'm not sure what's a better way to describe that at least as of now, I can't really think of a better way to describe that or elaborate on that, but I don't know. I just hear growth in the band when I listen when I listen to certain parts of the song or really the song in general. But also you get some solid heaviness in the song too, such as in the middle section. But yeah, overall, Disconnect, good song. I don't know if it's one of my favorites on the album, but I do like it though. But next we have Hopeless and Beaten and kind of a unique song on the album. Maybe one of the heaviest songs on the album too. Um, I really like Jonathan Davis's growls over the dark heavy guitar in the chorus. And yeah, this song musically goes in some pretty interesting directions such as after the second chorus or, or in the middle section. But yeah, overall, really digging this song a lot. Definitely gonna be curious of what people are gonna say about that song. But next we have Penance to Sorrow, a more radio leaning song that while maybe a song that might not break a whole much of new ground for corn, 
I still, at the same time, really like it. And especially the vo vocals in this song. Um, I think this song shows and further proves that Jonathan Davis vocally still has it now. I mean, he's, he definitely hasn't lost it. I think his singing is still great. And even when he does the growls or screams, he's think, I think he still sounds great. It's not shot or anything like that. Vocally, he, I think he's doing a really damn good job in this song in this song, and some other songs too on the album, like Let the Dark Do the Rest. But honestly, his vocal performance on the whole album is pretty dang good, I'd say. But next we have My Confession, and um, honestly, probably one of the weaker songs on the album for me personally. To me, the song doesn't do enough to stand out, but at the same time, I still think it's a decent song. I wouldn't really say any of the songs are bad, but if I had to narrow down what is my maybe my least favorite song on here, it might be this song, but that's not really saying much because again, I still think it's a decent song. And I can also see the song fitting well on one of the past few albums like Serenity of Suffering or The Nothing. But yeah, overall, again, decent song. But then the album closes off in a strong manner in my opinion with the song Worst is on its way. And um, I really dig the riffs in the song, especially. My song, this song might have some of my favorite riffs on the album. Rhythmically all around a pretty catchy song and some of the riffs such as leading up into the first verse have some nice grit and heaviness to them. And also in the song, you get to hear Jonathan Davis do his signature scatting. And I believe he does this twice in the song if I remember correctly, but also on top of that, you get a strong chorus and yeah, definitely a really strong album closer, I'd say. Uh, contender for be maybe being one of my favorites on the album, I'd say. But yeah, overall, definitely a great song and not a bad way to close off the album. But anyways, if I had to rate this album, I'd probably give it maybe an 8.5 out of 10. And of course, my rating could change at any time, but as of now, I'll probably go with an 8.5 out of 10. But yeah, overall, impressed with the album. Um, it it'll be tough for me to pick favorites right now. There are maybe two or three songs that I know are gonna be end up being favorites, but when it comes to the rest of the album, it's gonna to be tough. Again, it's gonna to be tough to pick favorites, but yeah, again, gonna to have to go with an 8.5 8 out of 10. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on the album. Do you love it? Do you hate it? How's it compare to their previous work for you personally? Do you think it's one of their best albums or one of their worst albums or more towards the middle for you? Let me know a favorite or least favorite songs on here and all the good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and like, subscribe, have a nice day, and take care.